people. Hello. Hello. Right, just taking a break from our random drunken stream to do reactions to Robot Wars. Now it's going to be weird because we're looking over there, TV's over there, the camera's up there, miles away from us, and we've got one light. So the pixelation and all that kind of shit, yeah. And the audio make it going up and down because I don't want to get copyright. Even though I won't be monetizing this video because I'm a bit weird like that. <laughs> shit happens. Uh, but yeah, so we're currently watching Robot Wars. It's a week late, admittedly. The camera's up there, I should really talk to the camera. It's a week late, admittedly, but uh, oh well. Uh, I've only just got around to doing it. And I might do this more regular thing. Just not necessarily the camera up there kind of thing. But yeah, so this is going to be our actions to Robot Wars. I admit you've already watched it. He hasn't. No. Um, so yeah, I've got to make sure I don't do spoilers. No spoilers. I'm rooting for Razor. He's rooting for Team Razor. Yes. Uh, and yeah, so let's play it. My well, first thought, though, as being one who's seen the show already, personally, I am sold on Darby. Angela Scallion, personally, I'm not sold on yet, but we can only hope. And Callum hasn't decided yet. No. But, uh, yeah. I do miss Lister. He misses Lister. Yeah. But I'm liking the fact that yes, they've decided to go for a new host, and they've just gone sod it. Let's just go with it. They haven't tried to do a Top Gear. <laughs> okay, you guys won't notice. I am liking the look of the new arena. It's less likely to kill the audience. That is a good point. So just so you know where we are, they're just introducing Team Nuts, um, who I think. I, I get a feeling they kind of envisage the the feel of old Robot Wars. Yeah. Cousins. They're a bit nuts and they know they They kind nuts. of remind me of Deer Tour. With the fluff. Hmm. And this pizza is good. Not naming the name of the pizza place. But it doesn't say it on the back of the box, so you don't know where I live. <laughs> Generic pizza box. Generic pizza box. But damn fine pizza. Mm -hmm. And cheesy chips. And chilli sauce. Yeah. I'm ordering from again. Legends of Team Razor. One of, I think, the prettiest robots from yeah. Robot Wars. I see it and it's like, I'm um, 12 years old and watching Robot Wars again. Yep. Terahertz. A robot that wasn't overly pushed on the original series. Man. I've got a mouthful of cheese. Mm. I'm not upset. I say, I know what's happening. I know what's going to happen. You'll get his honest reactions. Legend. Yep. Yeah. Right. Point out, I mean, the legend of Jonathan Pierce. Because I don't know how much you can actually hear the TV audio in the background. And the camera's struggling to focus on us right now. I'm not impressed by uh, by the look of nuts, but we will see. It could be badass. See, that's what I want, you know. Razor. Might be from Bournemouth. What are you saying about people from Bournemouth? They're all a bit weird. Supposed to be on robots oh, yeah. and stuff. Because I'm sure I've got no. And good old Tilda. Of Razor taking on the house robots and winning, which is why they're bigger now. <laughs> so what's shocking me is the size of these house robots. If I can find the picture, I'll edit it in at some point. If they're, they're not little, are they? Of Sir Killer holding Fessin on Sharky. My god, the new house robots are big. Alright, battle one. So a bit of a slow start. No, oh, Razor was right in there. Terahertz did miss Nuts yeah. there then. Hang on, Terahertz is upside down. I think I've got to figure it out now. Go on, Razor. I don't know if it's just me, Razor doesn't seem to have the biting power it used to. Didn't they have to limit it the second time it came back? No. They chose to limit it because they didn't want to wreck people's robots. 
I think it was something weird about the gearing of nuts because when it was up on one wheel, the one wheel just kept spinning. And Razor just can't get a grip on it, can it? No, Razor's struggling to get a grip on a um, Killy Cranky or cr Cranky Killy or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nuts just is standing there in the middle of the ring, ring arena, spinning. Go on, push, push it to Matilda. Yeah, Razor just doesn't seem to have the. I think it's because the improvements in armour. Razor just doesn't seem to have the biting force. Oh, yeah, Kelly Cranky knows to fuck off though. Oh, oh yes, Razor's got a bite. Go. He's having a nibble. <laughs> Spinning nuts. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yes, go on. Kelly Cranky's no! out. No, Kelly Cranky's out. Oh. That means nuts is through. Oh, Razor, you! So, end of the first battle. That's Killy Cranky and Razor out. Nuts and Terra Hurts through. He's about to cry because his favourite robot of all time is out. Man. It had it. Terrace enough, missed that shot then. Razor's just running yeah, over there. That is what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, little like, bot. I've got bits feet. of bot. <laughs> oh, just three inches to the other side, he would have had it. Yeah, oh. Kenny Cranky kind of managed to spin Razor around then. Well, in goes Dara, and there's the guy trying to hide, switching on the, the light. You spiteful SOB. <laughs> I know that's how it's played, but that's Razor out. Round one of the first round, first first episode, first match. So Razor fucking haunts my dreams. That is the thing that's coming to get me at night. It's up there with the Daleks. Yeah, he's a Doctor Who fiend. Yeah. I, I'm happy nuts have gone through though, because they they are nuts. Like, you're through because you did sweet F all. Well, there is that. Right. <laughs> They're a bit eccentric. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, Razor just doesn't seem to have the bite and force it used to have. Because it used to just... Yeah. Bam. That was it. So I am liking the new arena setup where the arena... You can see the pits from the arena. Which I think is a pretty cool little tweak they've done. My god, that cluster bot is. Uh, that is, ship it off, it's done. Dented. <laughs> so they kind of look like uni students, I guess. Probably are uni students. Yeah. <laughs> the styrofoam stuck on Razor's spikes. Do we see Razor back in the series? I hope we see Razor back. Yeah. I hope we see a new improved Razor. But they were being a bit cocky, trying to bring in the same old robot. Behemoth, not Behemoth. To me, it's always Behemoth. I can't remember how they used to say it on the old series. So we got a new spinner. Yeah. They never did that well though. They always break. Hypnotist did well. Yeah, Hypnotist did. But that was a surprise. No one expected hit with this. Hypnotist was so badass though. By the people, if you're wondering why it's so kind of noisy an image, it's because we've only got one light on. I could turn other lights on, but that's effort. Those two guys can't seem to get the fire extinguishers together. Put this brain CO2 behind them. I wonder if that's when it's going to keep going on. They might figure out within the series. They have to synchronise their CO2 bursts. Bonk. What a name for a robot. Not sold on that one, in general. No. Shunt! 350 kilos, what is that? In English. Oh, old English. Activate. Carbide Cousins get speed, just got speed. So that doesn't look anywhere near 2000 RPM. Ooh, 
Ooh, Ooh bye, I'll save it. Well, I've seen it shut itself right before. There we go. Oh, look, Max. Oh! Kilograms to stone. Three hundred and fifty kilos. Okay, three hundred and fifty kilos. That's fifty-five point one stone. Dad, put out a concept and protective protect their perspective. I'm nineteen stone. So basically, two and a half of me. Holy it! <laughs> bonk is upside down, and bonk is. Oh, they've had a wheel off the general. Have they had a wheel off the general? Oh, that was. Oh, that oh was, yes, that was a stuff. thing of beauty. Oh, carbide getting it's getting fucking sped up to speed. I'd never liked Bayamon. It's a classic, though. Mate, I just, I just never liked them. Uh, just the, the simplicity of there. We've got a robot that flips stuff. I don't, I don't know if it's. I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the team, the bot, or what. I just, I just never liked Bayamon. Oh, sorry, Beamer. Yeah. Took the moss. Fucking things. Mm. It's one of the things I always loved about English Robot Wars. The teams are always there helping each other out. Yeah. Not just Stallion. Could get any more English Robot Wars and a team like Nuts. Yeah. Complete lunatics that somehow managed to get through in the ill fitting top hats. Meh. I'm liking this feeling of the original it was because it was a half hour show. It was just battle, 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 sub story, battle, 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 bit of sub story, battle, battle, battle. Whereas this is more, let's have some good battles. Now let's actually go into the mechanics of them fixing their bots, talking about their bots, and let's go to some more battles in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I still want to see more fighting though. Well, I'm going to have more fun. It's an hour show now. And it's, that's it. You're not having to listen to all 18 stories at the beginning. They wait till the first round's over and then they talk about their stories. Is an amateur rocket scientist even useful in a robot arena? <laughs> I think they just want to say, you don't want to say guy that has the other controller. Player two. Player two! <laughs> I'll tell you another two I never used to like. For the life of me, I can't remember the name of their bot. But it was a black bot. It was low profile. And um, it just had one like lifting arm. It wasn't a flipper, it was just a lifting arm. And they spent ridiculous amounts of money on their robot. It was like Kevlar and coated and all this kind of stuff, and carbon fibre. Oh. oh. What were they called now? I cannot for life remember who, what they were called. But I think like he was an engineer for Google or something. He, the way he acted and one bores I seem to remember he had like a, a VR headset eyeglass thing so he, they had a camera on it so they could see when to fire their weapon and Mortis was it? They had an axe as well. Oh, that was well, yeah, that's ringing a bell. Yeah, I think it was Mortis. Team Mortis. Never really liked him. So it should be an it should be an amateur competition. Like this this is people that go go to a shed and go. Do you know what? I'm going to build a robot. Well, here look, they're all building a garage. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Seven hundred and fifty kilos. That's getting on a hundred stone. It's about nine of me then. Oh! And another one bites the dust. Can Carlo drive upside down? Yes, he can. Jeez, that thing it gets it to power. So Carbide's disc is that powerful it flipped itself over and it kind of contact with terahertz. It's not a and our only thing terahertz. is that terahertz just lent them their spare motor so they could get the disc going. I like to say that's robot wars. Yeah, I mean battle bots. It's just they yeah, they hate each other. Yeah, well, that's that's the American show. Yeah, 
not more competitive rather than oh oh yes. oh oh Oh, come on. Oh. Surely Killock can go out and do something to him there. Just have it. Why isn't Terrence... Why isn't Terrence in there and smashing him with his axe? But would you get near Killock? Yes! Jeez, that noise. Of the discs spinning up. Oh. Come on. Come on. Somehow get them back over on the wheels properly. It doesn't seem to have full control. Push it to kill that. Uh, no. Oh, no, they're down. Not quite. Going, they're, they're going, only... going, gone. Right, they've only lost the first of their round robins. It's not immediate no. elimination now. Not seeing the house robots do anything really. That was that was it so far. Kill a lot going. Get out there. Yeah. So Carbide used to be part of Terror Huts. It's a bit cheeky. Yes, it is. Random edit, you may notice, because laptops came out. <laughs> that sounds mean. <laughs> Nuts. Ah, oh, they just embody Robot Wars nuts too. Good old dead metal. Oof. Go on. So nuts have just been thrown into the palm. Claws, rats for dead metal. <laughs> Little cluster bot just spinning in the middle of the floor. Oh, look at that. Goodbye, Clusterbot. Oh! The little Clusterbot is still rolling. <laughs> oh, Matilda had Behemoth. Matilda's put a little dink in Behemoth as well. There is something strange about the gearing, I said, nuts. Because if one wheel's up, the wheel's on the ground doesn't move at all, and the other wheel just spins. There's something strange about the gearing. I can't quite figure out what it is. That's, that's got to be the Hamoth. Yeah. Or Baymoth, if they like. Hey, it's cool that view of the other lasers. Yeah. That's a really cool view of the ring. I think that's, that's the most entertaining fight. Mm. So far. And it's still going. <clears throat> Just trying to see if I can see any sign of what robot's going to be in the next show. Is it on Sunday tomorrow? Yeah. This took the old Top Gear slot. Chimera, Deconstructor, Draven, Foxic, Mr. Speed Squ Squared, Shockwave, Thor, and Tough as Nails. I want to go to that pub. I want a drone delivering my drink. One we long for Amazon is delivering your parcels by drone. Well, that is true. Good talking about it. Oh, the festival sharky. Yeah. So we're going to the next battle. Terra Hertz versus Behemoth. Let's see if Terra Hertz has fixed their axe or not. Oh! Oh, Dead Metal's getting carried away then. I wonder if they're going to get four house robots in at some point, in like the finals or something. We used to, didn't we? The axe is still not working. Oh, Terrence is over. If he's not got his axe, can it right? Oh. Right in the CO2 cylinder. <laughs> Zeus! So, Beamer's next fight should be Carbide. Or it might be nuts. Carbide nuts! Hearing the Brummie accent, it's hilarious. Carbide 
<laughs> That's had something. Yeah. Oh, well gone, Dinner man. time for Carbide. Oh. oh! That sound! Goodbye, Team Nuts. Oh, Nuts is running away. It flips over. Okay, Carbide is that powerful. It's actually cleaning the arena of dust. Go on. Yes. Not enough slicing for my liking yet. Now, there, there we go. There we go. Something evil about seeing Sir Killer with flames licking at the side of it. Oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, there goes its wheel. And again. Oh. Let's go out a five pound part from to fit. How much they probably spent on that robot? Come something, yeah. I said the spinning di blade is that powerful? It's cleaning the floor with its wind. It's given off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dara's just shown us the big piece of metal that bounced off the glass that they were standing behind. Or the plexiglass. Oh, I hope they've not got another fight to come. They have. Oh, good luck, guys. This is why I like Dara it. Because Dara's going nerdy. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's taking a piss out of the own, bot, bot owners in a way that they laugh. So they got two hours to fix it. Two hours to basically build a new robot. Meanwhile, there's a guy in the arena with the broom sweeping up the rest of the robot. Do you want a pound or a hoover? It is a little baggy. Here's a little baggy what's left of your robot. My God. Oh, I like your optimism, Nuts. That blade of carbide. When they get up to speed. Spare my feet, carbide. Carbide's going to get his disc at speed. Oh! Jeez! Oh, Behemoth is heavy enough. But look at that disc is doing more damage to carbide. Oh, and that, that blade is looking a bit wobbly. Oh, yeah. They hit the beam off that hard, it flinged it into the pit release button. And there goes its flipper. Yeah, but... No! Beam off in the pit. With a broken flipper that they need to repair. They're not looking so cocky now. Jeez. The force that hit the bucket is enough to break the mounting point of the flipper. Someone's just drove their car into the arena. Parked up in the corner. <laughs> Could use some of these parts, I guess. Well, I suppose it's an advantage of your robot being built for nuts and bolts. Yeah. You just bolt new bits on. You got some gaffer tape on it. That is. Yeah, gaffer tape will fix the robot and get it going again. I like them. I just like their attitude. Yeah. The thing is, you can't go into this show. They get upset your robot gets destroyed. No, you know what's going to happen. Especially when you've spent about 50 quid on it. Terrorists just can't seem to hit the main body with its axe very well. At least the axe is working again. That's true. Oh, there goes oh, the protective ring, ring again. Gone. <laughs> is it pinned the axe? Oh no. The ring is actually stuck on Terrorists. What the hell? The ring is actually stopping the act of working. 
Terahertz is trying everything he can to shake that ring off. Oh! So you need that ring to get stuck in the pit because Terahertz can't go anywhere then. Those cluster blocks aren't really doing anything. <laughs> it seems weird having both Rover Tears in the same control booth. Shunt can't seem to hit it. Oh, the cluster block is actually doing something useful. No surprise there, really. No. When, I mean, you, when your box is falling apart into bits. Yeah. It does feel like they're rushing through now. I said, if I don't it's Carbide versus Behemoth. Oh, they're through to the final. The head of Behemoth does look a bit like Dino Brin. That's a lethal weapon then when it's up to speed and hits the right bit of the robot. Jeez. <clears throat> Problem with the spinner blade robot, so. Is they kind of can do more damage themselves than they actually do to the enemy. Because that is not a heavy robot. No, and it's the motor, it's the strength of the motor that spins. We did get the same final, final in the same episode. I couldn't remember if you did or didn't. Activist. Oh, it's done it again. Bim off doesn't have full control. No. Yeah, Behemoth's only got left hand drive. And uh, Behemoth just saves itself. I think Carbide's blade was actually broken at the end there. It's so innately pretty about seeing the sparks on that disc. But that blade hits the bulldozer blade. So pretty without it. It's the size of the robots now. So to sum up, thoughts on New Robot Wars? It is still entertaining. It, you, you can't, you cannot take that away from it. it it's, it's still... Yes. It's still Robot Wars. It's, it's Robot Wars. It's what, not... What more do you want? They've, they've... It isn't new and improved Robot Wars. It isn't a Robot it, it's, Wars it's, reboot. It's two it's teams. It's Robot Wars. With robots they've built in their shed, battering the hell out of each other. The hosting team... Dara works for me. Yeah, I like I Dara. I like Dara. Angela Scallion... She's a bit boring. Yeah. I, I can kind of see she, they're trying to give her the same level as Dara. Because in the old Robot Wars, Craig Charles was kind of the boss, the yeah. lead. And then Philippa Forrester was at first, but I can't remember her name. It was Julia something in yeah, the later ones. Switched around, didn't they? She just stuck in the pits and then brought out the trophies. They're trying to give him a level yeah. balancing. It's great they've got Jonathan Pierce still doing, all, doing the uh, yes. commentary because Jonathan Pierce is just... He's, he's the voice, voice of Robot Wars, Wars to me. Yeah. Um, Professor Nosaki, Starkey, he's just awesome and cool. The other two judges, didn't hear much from them. Yeah, but I'm, I'm always annoyed when it goes to a judge's decision. It's annoying when it gets to a judge's decision. I want to see robots kicking the But I do like the idea of them turning around to the judges and going, right, talk about this particular thing why you think robots are going certain ways and they give their professional opinion because at the end of the day they're all professors yeah so they're all professionals and experts in their field heck they know more about robots than I've forgotten well, yeah they've forgotten more about robots than I've ever learned but no I think it's a good strong start episode 2 for us is tomorrow night yeah for the time you watch this video may have already happened knowing me by some chance, the re reaction slash review of episode two may be up before this video, because editing. 
Sometimes. <laughs> yes. But, yeah. <laughs> Good one. At least it didn't do new top gear thing. The new top gear of trying to do old top gear. They realised it's a new hosting team. It's a new show. It's got the core thing of being Robot Wars, but it's new. Let's go with it. So anyway, that was our reaction and review and fine brothers. There you go for the review. Cheers, tune in, and see you next time. Bye!